Let me tell you all a story. Imagine the following scenario. Imagine that there is a commodity. And this commodity is very sought after. People really like it. People go all over the world, all over the world. People really like this commodity. Yet, there's a couple problems. Because for as long as anybody can remember, the only way to get this commodity was from nature. But there were a lot of concerns about how that commodity was obtained. Environmentalists decried the practices to obtain this, saying it was destroying the planet. Human rights advocates lamented how the labor conditions were for the people in this industry. They even developed third-party certification programs to try to make these products more ethical so that people could buy it and ease their conscience. Then imagine that some innovative scientists developed a way to produce that same product inside of a laboratory without any of those concerns associated to it. And no, I don't mean an alternative to that product. I don't mean a substitute for that product. I mean molecularly the same exact product. Some Bay Area startups start trying to commercialize it and all of a sudden the incumbent industry is so upset that they go to the government and they try to ban them from using a term that is being used in the common marketplace. And the purveyors of this product want to call it cultured. And the incumbent industry says, no, you have to call it lab grown. Well, consumers don't want lab grown. They want cultured. Well, you can't call it cultured. And they go to a federal agency to try to get them to ban it. Now, you may be thinking that I am talking about meat. But that commodity is not meat. That commodity is diamonds.